Hi Trader, this is Elite Currency. My name is Chris. Today, again, a Forex overview of the upcoming three days, 27 to 29 September. But before we kick off with that as usual and take a look at what the market is showing, I wanted to share uh, just a couple of entries uh, and setups basically using SWAT. I hope you don't mind. Uh, basically, of course, we talk about SWAT regularly uh, here and there. And I wanted to show you how that SWAT basically works with entries. This is the entry template. We have other templates for analysis and understanding uh, support or resistance and the bigger market structure. Because ultimately SWOT stands for simple wave analysis and trading, but it's more than that. It's more about patterns and market structure, understanding uh, the deeper kind of sense of the charts, not only looking at simple kind of concepts and trying to uh, find a good setup. No, it's about understanding the entire market, the patterns and market structure, but SWOT, SWOT translates that into you know simple to see setups. Uh, you know, otherwise, it would take you years to, to do pattern trading and understand the market structure. And SWOT kind of simplifies that to weeks and months. So with regard to the entry template, we had on the euro dollar an entry here with the red arrow. You can see that price was in a, uh, a bear flag kind of formation here. Talked about that, that the break of that bear flag would be a good setup. And on the SWOT, we had the signal right there. The red arrow indicating the break and a good entry there. Green was the entry spot. Blue is the target and the dark red is the stop loss and uh, basically the trade ended up for 80 pips win. The risk was 65 pips which means that the reward to risk uh, was 1.23 and if 1% risk is taken that means 1.23% profit. Uh, the Aussie was a bit better in uh, terms of reward to risk and that does depend also on the target and stop loss of course uh, what the R2R potential is. In this case it was 2.22 uh, profit the win was 78 pips the risk was only 35 pips and you can see here again well this was actually the the latest entry there were other entries earlier but i'm thinking actually the worst entry and uh, you can see still a great r2r and there were earlier entries on the aussie as well but uh, basically the the latest entry great uh, red candle right there trigger as well and a perfect fall on the aussie and last but not least very quickly kiwi uh basically on the on the right doing the same thing like the aussie and uh, the dollar yen too Great breakout trade there, even up to the resistance, not even with the break of the resistance, still a good one-to-one uh, -one trade. Okay, that was just a quick update, you know, how we actually take those SWOT entries, and so you have an idea about that. Uh, I will actually show you uh, later on in a different video how the methodology is, is based on and why we can trade the patterns of market structure uh, so simply with SWOT. Regarding the current day, uh, your dollar very quickly making a bearish break of this channel of course already two days ago continued yesterday basically but shouldn't it be estimated that price is approaching this horizontal support too and uh, you can see that there there's some zone right there that could you know stop price i think uh temporarily at least so i think that the continuation lower is uh, possible 117.50 is a psychological kind of quarter level though to, to reckon with uh, but it looks like it's ready for a continued breakout at the moment for small fall i think that if price breaks through this bottom it could continue but there's only a small space here plus there is some divergence between these bottoms so i'm not sure if i'm really that excited about trading it to the downside maybe uh, earlier today it could have still been good i think we had a swat setup somewhere here around 11790 if you're in that trade you can move to break even and and you know target 117 that's great now it's a bit late uh, so yeah that's sometimes annoying with these recordings but what can you do uh, basically for the moment i would looking at this just wait for price to finish and look for probably some bounce down here which definitely could happen uh, as this is still pretty much corrective territory under your dollar pound dollar uh, breaking lower too uh, this seems to be full and swing at this moment so going short is a bit late at the moment also considering the fact that this is also still looking a bit corrective uh, you know still at the, basically at support roughly speaking so looking more like a falling wedge could still bounce as well would look on the four hour chart maybe for a bounce not looking for shorts at this moment because uh, i think the better shorts uh, might have occurred around here or here all in all it's still choppy so not trading it probably makes the most sense at this moment at least ozzy uh well basically ozzy here it's the same structure as the euro dollar and pound dollars so i don't want to um you know spend too much time on this but uh, basically could be completing an ABC zigzag for the moment at the minus 272 target. Or if it, if it expands, could go to the minus 61.8 target. So 
Let's see if it makes a retracement like this and turns. It could still be an interesting short from 79 down to 77 to 80. Um, but it shouldn't have too much momentum in it. If it goes with too much momentum, then, um, you know, might be want to be careful with the short. So if it goes back to basically 79, uh, let me put a fib here, or sorry, I mean a line here, 79.25 probably max, anywhere between 78.80, right, and 79.25, and turns there. It could be still interesting for continuation. But if there are good bullish momentum candles here, like this, and then we get a bull flag, would also be interested in looking for upside effect because we did hit the minus two seven two target. And if you look at the four hour or daily chart, basically, you know, this could still be just a simple correction like this, back to support, and up it can go. So we want to keep an eye on the support and understand the larger uh, structure. Now, myself, I did take a Kiwi short based on. Um, on the fact that we had momentum here and a pattern, corrective pattern. So I took a short based on that. It's up a few pips. Will this work out? No idea. But uh, basically, I'm targeting uh, 71.34. Uh, so let's see if this works out. I'm betting that we're not betting, but taking a trade on the fact that uh, the Kiwi will continue still with this momentum. It broke through support, as you can see. So I'm trying to, to trade the extension towards the previous bottom roughly speaking. So that's a trade that's going on right now. And um, so far it's okay. The nice, you know, what we try to trade is just nice little patterns like this uh, within kind of trends and momentums. That's, well, that's not the only setup, but that's one of our, uh, you know, with the trend setups basically. And the one that I like probably the most. Uh, Dollar CAD is moving higher, seems to be stalling at this moment, is an uptrend channel, but I don't see any trade at this moment neither up or down unless price breaks this support or maybe even this support, right? So those are two support lines, trend lines that I'll be thinking about trading. Uh, upside, not so much. Maybe if it breaks through this resistance. So these are important trend lines in my view. We'll be keeping an eye on uh, all three of them for potential up or down trades. Gold seems to be breaking down. Good strong move down here. So could continue below this trend line. Um, Euro yen. Uh, seems to be a bit, well, let's say it this way. Euro yen made a strong downside, but the overall trend is up and it's back at the long term moving average. So it could bounce back towards the resistance, right? So that's something to, to be aware of. And the, it will depend also on the dollar yen. I'm not sure if we even spoke with the dollar yen. Uh, I forgot about it, sorry. Uh, basically, the dollar yen seems to be breaking uh, the upside. SWAT, as I said, had a trigger here. Target already reached. This could be a new setup right here, in fact. Just last hour, I'm a bit late, unfortunately. Um, here, there could have been continuation, actually, after the break. Like this, you can see breakout, pullback, continue. So the continue could have been somewhere in here. This trade is doing well so far. Um, but if you're in that trade, be careful of basically... 113 still that could still be a good target to aim for because that could still be a stopping spot for this dollar yen because this was pretty corrective uh, i'm not sure if this will be a strong impulse it could also be part of the correction and down price goes again so 113 113 18 uh important so your yen at this moment seems to be trying to break uh, to the upside and i think that uh you know, it's making a little bit of a bull flag pattern like this. So a break of that might see a continuation to the upside. Pound yen looks pretty choppy on this time frame. I don't see any particular trades on the pound yen as yet. Um, personally, it looked to be a bear flag, but doesn't seem to be so that much anymore. Maybe like this. Not a particular fan of this pound yen at this moment. I'll skip it. We can reanalyze it upcoming weekend. And other pairs I don't think are that interesting. Euro Zealand, perhaps, if, as I said, it breaks through this resistance. We're talking about this one already. The bounce basically at 270 target, the bounce at the support. Now, which side will it choose, right? Will it continue with the bullish bounce or the bearish bounce? So if it breaks above this resistance, it could be upside. If it breaks uh, above this, uh, sorry, below this support, it could be downside, but be aware that the moving averages are pretty flat. So any break might be short-lived and might price might fly back towards the 
equilibrium towards the, the average right about here, right? So be careful with breakouts in this case. Euro odd does not look interesting to me. Pound odd uh, made a sh small little trade from here to the 170 uh, 70 area for 50, 60 pips. Not a big trade. That was the first target. But the first target seems to be basically the one where price is stopping. Uh, ultimately, it looked like a good breakout to the upside and it was okay. But the breakout just didn't go too far. As you can see, sh uh, slow, choppy, corrective pattern to the upside. So when you see that, then you know that the breakout is really not doing too well. And then you have to reanalyze it. And then what you see then, a bear flag kind of pattern, right? At least a, a choppy kind of channel. So it doesn't look like a great bullish break. It did give 50, 60 pips. And that's also part of the, the great thing with SWAT is that even trading choppy things like this, you can still squeeze out a good number of pips, even though, uh, you know, perhaps the other side is, is, a, is a better trade eventually, right? So pound odd, yes, could be a trade, but would need to break through this channel first. Break, pull back, continue, and the pound odd uh, could be a good uh, trade. The target, in my view, put a fib on this, minus 272 target, first one, 68, 168.18, then 167.25 at the minus 61.8 target. Uh, last but not least, pound New Zealand looking pretty choppy. So, a bit choppy market, uh, nothing we can do about that, I guess, uh, in this video, but ultimately, I think. Looking at it from this point of view, the Kiwi seems to be the most interesting one. Um, and uh, the Euro yeah, and breakout to the upside potentially. The uh, the dollar yen could, if it breaks above 113, be interesting as well. Your dollar uh, downside then up, right? There could be a bounce. Pound dollar two downside seems to be happening right now already. So looking for the bounce at this moment. Let's see if that occurs. And... Uh, that's about it. So not many setups, unfortunately, for this week, uh, this particular video. But uh, we'll be back soon, of course, on the weekend with a new update and potentially fresh new setups. All right. Thanks for joining. Take a look at EliteCurrency.com for uh, free material, free indicators, free PDFs. And of course, also, if you're interested in SWAT, uh, you kind of have a, a little bit of an idea now how it works. But we're going to share more info how... The system itself is composed, so you get a bit better idea how that works. Thanks for joining this video in any case, and wish you all great trading. Cheers.